So a few tips on running the climate action simulation online. First, before you even begin, you want to make sure that whatever online platform you're using, you want to test out a few key features. One, how to share your screen. It's really important that you be able to show inroads. Two, make sure you know how to mute and unmute participants. Particularly if you're working with a really large audience, you're going to want to be able to mute all participants all at once, maybe unmute one person so that they can give the speech uh, for their team's group. That Know how to manage all of that. Then third, make sure you know how to put people into their assigned breakout groups. For some online platforms, you can do this in advance, and it's really helpful if you can do it in advance, or at least have your plan figured out on who on your team is going to be able to sort all the teams into the appropriate breakout group so that way they get where um, they can discuss with their team leaders. You can also explore other options where maybe uh, you throw groups in with a bunch of random people from other teams. Um, but make sure if, you, if you're if you going to take that approach, you plan to do it in advance so you have no surprises during the gameplay. And then finally, uh, use the virtual backgrounds. Figure out if that's a feature available to you on the platform you're using and test out how to use them well. Then another thing, if possible, if you know who's going to show up to your event in advance, send them the briefing statements. Uh, we have this uh, handy Google Doc in which you can send the link to the participants if you make a copy of it on your own um, Google Docs and then share it with your participants. Then people can click on the link and find all the resources, the link to the briefing statement, the link to their team's uh, virtual background uh, in advance. So that way, again, people can be prepared. They can have all of their documents set up uh, before they begin the game. Then during the event, some things to keep in mind. One is that you might not be able to see people's reactions, uh, so bring your energy. Make sure you're speaking to your camera. Um, second, make sure you explain clearly what people need to be doing and when. The whole online event setup, is particularly with complex facilitation dynamics like the climate action simulation, requires you to be really clear what people should be doing, particularly before they go into breakout rooms. You don't want anyone landing in a breakout room confused as to what's going on. Then also consider whether to have people unmute to give speeches um, during those, the, those sections or to just propose their actions in chat. Again, it depends on your group, depends on the size and the number of people you're working at with, but think about these dynamics in advance and then make sure while you're going during the, during the event, you know how to do all of the different things as you're going. And then finally, do use virtual backgrounds. It's a lot of fun. Or have people change their names um, if that's possible too. Uh, a note on platforms. We really prefer Zoom. That's what the team at Climate Interactive has done the most testing with in terms of running the climate action simulation online. However, there are inroads climate ambassadors out there who have used a range of different platforms. I've heard of people using Blackboard, uh, this this platform called Gather Town, another one called Kiko Chat. Maybe you're familiar with a platform out there that could really make cl the climate action simulation come alive. There's tons of possibilities out there uh, for you to explore. But I think the main thing, just have fun with it. Explore the different options and, and tell us about it too. We're, we're always really curious to hear about the innovations that people come up with for the climate action simulation. Thanks.